different sources, and we are not projecting in the budget any additional services, additional teachers to reduce class size. It's pretty much a status quo budget as far as what you have this year or had last year, you're going to have this year. I don't, think, I don't see any new hires going. But I wanted, as we talk about this, I don't know, it's pretty small, isn't it? I'm sorry. What, what it says <laughs> is the current proposed, current proposed budget is going to show us with a $5.7 million surplus in this year. If we follow the budget as it was voted on to the letter, that means our fund balance will increase to about $16 million at the end of the year. Fiscal year, with, with the new penny tax, which expires the following year, the revenues from that end, we expect that we'll have a shortfall of about $6 million, which we'll pay for out of the fund balance at that point in time. And then the following year, and I'm saying this, I want to say it very carefully, this is based on what's real today, no change in the tax structure. The penny tax goes away. It is retired in May of 2013. We're looking at a shortfall that will take us uh, into deficit about $18 million, which of course we can't do by, by law. 